In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble and use the Stanwood 10 ounce yarn winder. This item had been in my wish list, my Amazon wish list for a while. So I'm grateful to my local Santa for getting this for me. I will have a description to it in the uh, box below. I wanna show you how to assemble it and also the proper way to use it. I've already unscrewed the, uh, the wing nut and the washer so that I, I could attach this arm. So you put the arm on that part that's sticking up and then the next thing you do is put the washer on top and then put the wing nut on top of that and then it's you just it's kind of awkward the way that I have it but you want to just keep turning that wing nut and you want to get it as tight as you comfortably can but of course you don't want it so tight that you can't unscrew it later if you need to so you just keep tightening that until it seems like it's right and then this is what you're going to have and then the next thing that I did actually was <laughs> consult the instructions because I wanted to make sure that I would tell you the right way to do it. Tighten the table clamp by turning it just probably just until it's slightly tight. I just tightened it until when I pulled on the winder, it did not come off of the table. Next, and actually last, apply the cone. You don't have to press like I was, you literally just have to push it down and then turn the cone clockwise, and then it will clamp into place. And now we're ready to go ahead and wind some yarn. Just stick the yarn through the second feeder. You don't, you just stick it straight through and then leave about an inch tail and slide it through the slots at the top of the cone. And then because this was a new skein of yarn, I did pull out, you might need to pull out some of the yarn, a bit of it in the beginning to, so it's loose. Once the skein isn't quite so thick, you won't need to do that. Now, when I was, I'm just starting out, I'm, you're gonna see that this was not exactly going very smoothly. And we'll talk about why. That tall arm of the ball winder, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it's slowly moving towards the left as I'm holding onto the yarn. Can you see that? See, it's slowly walking its way around the table. And then that was causing my yarn to double over on the cone. And as you can see, it happened again. So uh, my first thought was just, okay, I'll just move it back on the other side, no problem. Move it back to where it was before and I'll just keep going. But as you can see, it immediately started scooting across the table again. So I finally figured out that something was amiss and it took me a couple minutes to figure it out, but ultimately this is what the problem was. I did not tighten that loose enough. I tightened that. The wing nut was too loose and that is why that arm was traveling. So upon discovering that, I did tighten it and now, as you can see, you wanna hold your yarn, just you wanna apply just a bit of, a t of tension to the yarn coming from the skein and then wind away. And it's not, you know, it's actually pretty easy to use. Now, I do wanna show you the problem that I ran into with, this is the first skein of yarn that I made when I first assembled this machine. 
And as you can see, this, um, this ball or, or, of yarn has some problems. You can see there that the tension is off and look at how squishy and airy it is. That's actually not what you want in a skein of yarn. I mean, in a, in a yarn cake, this was a seven ounce skein. And as you can see, I couldn't even get a full seven ounces wound with the ball winder. And this is supposed to hold 10 ounces. As you can see, I just got a little over, or I got five and a half ounces. So I, I decided to use this yarn. This is a 10 ounce jumbo stripe, super saver. And that's, it's supposed to hold 10 ounces. And as you can see this time around, it did turn out correctly. And the reason why is because I actually held the yarn from coming from the skein, I applied some tension to it. So make sure that you do that and so that you can get this uniform consistency. You have to apply the tension, which is something that I learned the hard way. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out one of these other videos. Mm -hmm.